Okay, we're starting the recording. And uh, let's see here, live on Facebook. Uh, let's see here if we're there. Are we? I say go live. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Hello. Got it. Okay, there we are. I think we're uh, I think we're going out. Let me just make sure here. I have to go over to Facebook uh, and look and see if it's going out. Let's see here. There we are. There we go. Okay. All right. We're popping out and we're going out and whatever. Let me see here. Let me get rid of this. I think. I have too much to do here, folks. Uh, excuse me for a few moments. There we go. Hello. How are you? How are you all doing? Uh, uh, this is our little Monday get together. Uh, and we are uh, uh, going out onto the internet. Oh, let me see. I have my soda here and I have my coffee here. And, uh, hmm. Okay. I think we're ready to see some people here we only have a small amount here but we'll get to them and i'm sure they will all join us uh as as time is uh, admit all let me just do that okay we're slowly getting everybody i'm a little late in getting in here that's why i seem to be uh, a little rushed uh hello everybody how are you uh this is our our beginnings of a citizen panel is rick sheckman hello rick how are you doing good yes are your eyes doing well the right eye is still a little fuzzy but doing okay yeah okay and uh, uh here's old uh, charlie uh what four toes <laughs> <laughs> that's me <laughs> yeah yeah he had a little problem a little bout with the old diabetes right yeah had too much sugar in your lifetime pal I'm sure I have. Yeah. Is there, is, is there diabetes in your family? Yeah. Both of my parents had it. Okay. So is it, I, it, it, can it be inherited? I guess it can. I think so. Yeah. Apparently. Edward Berger, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you have, I, I, your voice is amazing. Uh -huh. All right. It is amazing. It is amazing. Here comes Steve Bender. Here comes Marjorie Miller. Uh, oh, my stomach's bothering me a little bit today. Mm. I had a rough weekend. I don't know what it was. I just wasn't feeling well at all. Maybe I had a touch of the COVID. Maybe. It's going round. Yeah. Our yeah mayor, the, mayor, the mayor has it. Yep. <laughs> the new mayor? Yeah, the new yeah. mayor. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and, a, and a side effect we found out now of COVID, since he has it, is you turn white. <laughs> <laughs> and they consider that the worst side effect. <laughs> Our uh, albino mayor. Albi mayor albino. Yeah. Uh, who is, by the way, uh, what's, what's the term now? Um, um, I saw it on a thing where you, were you not male or female? You're uh, non-binary. 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 Huh? Now wait a minute. If you're binary, wouldn't that be you're both? Bye. Bye. You're non-binary, so you're neither. Binary oh. means binary means two, so you're either one or the other. If yeah, you're binary is one or the other. One but what is non-binary though? You're not one or the other. <laughs> you don't identify zero. as either. You're yeah. zero. You're both. And you contain I, multitude. You contain I, multitudes. I'm either becoming a right winger or I find this totally idiot. A total idiocy. Oh, there there are forms now when, when, where it says you know male, female, other. There's like 12 or 15 choices now. I think that the answer to this question, well, 15 choices. the answer to this, this answer to that problem should be very simple. You don't ask. Correct. It, it yeah. doesn't matter. Don't does. ask. Yeah. It, it does. It, oh, look, he's outside. Oh, wow. Oh, beautiful <laughs> spring day in, in uh, Texas. Yes, it is. The yeah. weather's been gorgeous the past week. 
Been and cold he's, framed, here. he's framed beautifully by those trees. <laughs> yeah. You pick the site, and that's your dog, right? That's my grand dog. Your grand dog. <laughs> oh, okay. It belongs to a grandchild, right? No, no. It belongs to a daughter. I'm the. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It belongs to one of your kids who's a grand. Yeah, yeah I thought you said whatever. it belonged to one of my granddaughters. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Uh, but anyway, but anyway, this whole thing with male, female, I, I, uh, I don't the, even ask. A quick look online just revealed that there are 76 genders. 76. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, just for the hell of it, since we got time, start naming them. I, I'm not going back to name them. I don't give a shit. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But, you know, whatever, whatever gets you through the night. If you uh, want to, you know, I don't I care. I can imagine that you have like the two genders plus if you want to consider <laughs> Uh, I, I am a transgender that I can buy uh, if you're uh, what else is there besides that? Well, you, I mean, you can you can identify as any of those things. But if you check your DNA, there's only one or the other. Yeah. But now that's a question should be what's your DNA? Right. See, but wait a minute. Get, just I said male, female, transgender. Just give me any one out of that list. OK. Here, here's the here's here's some of them, Alex. Okay. And, and, androgen, bigender, cisgender, gender expansive, gender fluid, gender outlaw, gender queer, masculine of center, omnigender, polygender, and pangender, transgender, two spirit. I like two spirit. That's a good one. It's just it's beyond belief. I like some. They probably all have pronouns. I like um, I like being two spirit. Two spirit. True that's, a good, yeah, that's a good one. I'm a I'm true spirit. Okay. I'm true From here spirit. On in, I'm true spirit. Me too. Yeah. That seems like a proper, proper setting. Anyway. Yeah. Boy. It's amazing. It's just amazing. Uh I, you know, maybe I'm just old fashioned. Could be, you know. It could be. But anyway, so uh, you know, yesterday, you know, something's changed. Yesterday, Marjorie and I went to a to sit Shiva. That's what you do when you're. Anybody know who isn't too. Jewish here? What sitting no, yeah. is? Somebody. That's when somebody dies and you oh, go yeah. over to the house and fool around and whatever. <laughs> well, when I was a kid, I, the, only, the only real official shiva that I went to before yesterday was when I was a kid. My mother took me over to these relatives' house. Somebody had died, or maybe it was my grandmother. I don't know. Somebody died. Okay, and we went over. And uh, all these people were sitting on hard benches, right? Mm. The, the, the aggrieved had to sit on hard benches. They could cover the mirrors. They cover, they cover the cover mirrors. all the mirrors in the house, right? I forgot that one. Uh, they don't make food. Everybody Bring brings food. food. Am I right? Or they order smoked fish from Barney Greengrass. Right. <laughs> or or Russian daughters. Or Russian Fine, daughters. but you bring food. You, they don't have to make the food. Uh, so they don't want to, you know, so th there's that. Let's see here. Uh, what else? What else was Shiva? What else did you do with Shiva? Uh, uh, sometimes you rented cloth, didn't you? Yeah. I yeah. think you don't shave or get a haircut during Shiva, period. Yeah, yeah. So you better be prepared that somebody's maybe gonna die and you can get your hair cut and so on. But anyway, that was Shiva. Okay, it was hey, good news. Tony Magno's calling me. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he know you're doing this little little dust up here? He should. <laughs> He's not invited. I'm gonna put it on mute. I'm gonna mute myself for a moment so I can listen. But don't <laughs> tell him the <to> call. <laughs> <laughs> Now, wait a minute. This is supposed to be nice people having nice discussion. If he calls, I'm off. If he calls, you're off? I'm going to go walk around the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so so anyway, sitting Shiva was a very serious. We to Shiva yesterday. Yeah, it was very, always very serious. I go to this Shiva yesterday. Begin with, I, I had to get out my sport coat and my sport pants and my you know uh, my nice shoes and and all of that and i get all dressed up because of course you're going to pay respects to someone whose loved one had just died 
and Marjorie said, well, you know, you can wear sneakers these days with your, with your pants. And I said, well, no, that's not proper here. I've got to wear. Today's huh? acceptable. Today's acceptable. Yeah, but I did it. I didn't do that. But I, I dressed up, okay? Right. Figuring right. You, you're going to shiva. You're paying respects. And Aside so you, from the hole in your sweater, you look great. That is <laughs> my sweater, it turned out. Some moth had a field day or something. <laughs> anyway, we get to the shiva. And everybody's showing up in jeans. Wow. <laughs> Not everybody. Most people there, even the adults, were showing up Not in jeans. Not our age group, though. Our, our age, age no, our age group, there were people there wearing jeans. Not our age group. I, I like disagree with you. Red and Did John. you go to the same shiva that I went to? <laughs> <laughs> A lot anyway. of food. Huh? A lot of food. A lot of food. More food than anybody. There were like about, what, 100 people there? It was they catered. didn't eat all this food. There was so much food left off over that they took the food and gave it to the nursing home where the, where the husband had and been. And also a platter to the police. A platter to the police. Nice. You know, so they'll, they'll arrive fast when something's happening. <laughs> you know, uh, but anyway... It was the people were not dressed for Shiva. Okay, overall, it's 2022, Alex. Yeah, I don't. I don't think of Shiva as a dress up thing. I think it's a casual. You stop in and you make the yeah. person feel better that you know you showed up to see but out there. He, he shouldn't have gone in his pajamas, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> I wanted to. I know but we had a discussion. Yeah, no, but I, I would have not dressed up if I had known that was what it was. And I would have been more comfortable, of course, at the sitting shiva. But I'm, you're not supposed to be comfortable shitting. shitting, shitting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after all that food yesterday, today I was shitting shiva. Yeah. But anyway, it's changed, you know. And um, uh, but so has the whole world. Yeah, but I, people yeah, but can come to weddings dressed in jeans now, and whatever. Uh, that's what it is. Listen, I think the Catholics ask uh, spot is spot. Scott, I'm going to leave now. I can't speak English <laughs> any longer. Scott is Catholic. Scott, are there Catholic traditions that you don't kind of get? You don't loosen them up. You know what I'm talking about. Mm, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't do, think do, you, do you show up to church for mass wearing jeans now? Yes. Yes. Really? Every, yeah. every time. Yeah. yeah. All the time. We were doing that back in the 60s. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no big deal. As long as you're there, that's all that matters. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I, I, uh, I, I, but I, somehow there were just certain traditions that I thought, I mean, for instance, if you go out to, uh, Brooklyn and go to some people sitting shiva. Uh, I'm sure the Orthodox probably still get all dressed up or wear their pants and things. Sure. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but, but they're Alex, creepy people. They are. <laughs> Alex, considering, <laughs> but Alex, considering, it was so nice. Mm. What? Well, it was nice. Oh, it was very nice. Well, the thing was, the person who died had been in the process of dying for the better part of a year now, right? Yeah, at least a year or two. Yeah, but I mean, it was it was a, a given that eventually he would die of uh, Parkinson's. Well, he didn't die of Parkinson's. There were a lot of other, under, there under, other things too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but in the last at least couple of months, they knew he was on his way to death. The end. The end. Uh, and so consequently, this wasn't a sad party. You know, this wasn't a bunch of people going, oh, my God, so-and-so got run over by a train. How could that happen? You know, this was everybody was just celebrating the guy's life because they all knew he was going to go. And they were just kind of happy he was gone so that he didn't have to go through this process. Anyway. And he was so well loved. Yeah. By his community, by his work community. I mean, everything. Um, well, I, that, I hate I hate him for that. Uh, <laughs> and, and the reason is, is that when I die, I'll be lucky if I have Shecky coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
I won't be there. You don't go to funerals, <laughs> do you? You know, so I mean, I I, I can't think of anybody that will come to mind. Will you come to mind, Steve? Yeah, if I got nothing else on the calendar, sure. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Steve. Edward, you're nearby. How about of you? course, I will be there. Okay. <laughs> will, will you recite a prayer for us? <laughs> oh, of course, I'll, I'll think of something to say. Oh, yeah. At the end, I'll say, that's all, folks. What that's all, yeah, okay. That's what I'll do. So, Alex, that's all, folks. That's yeah. right. But what happens is you could read something, and it, it, it would be amazing to see how many people. Is there any people there? Okay, which I sincerely doubt because most of the people I know are people like you who can't get to it. Okay. Also, the longer you live, the more your friends are going to pass away. So, yeah. well, my mother died at a hundred and almost a hundred and one, and when she had her funeral, it was a small group of people. Sure. Because That's the people left. who would have come were all dead. Yeah. Yeah. Well, believe it or not, Alex, people still know who you are and would probably come and pay yeah. their respects as they should. I don't know. Yeah, but most of them are in San Francisco. Now, yeah, let me tell you the most embarrassing true. moment of Shiva yesterday, and Marjorie has not heard this yet. <laughs> the, the, the most egregious, embarrassing moment yesterday was one of the relatives at this party was a famous Peloton trainer. You know, one of those people that's on the video that says, come on, let's all speed, run, let's... let's. But, but, but she's so famous that, like, she tossed the ball for the Philadelphia Eagles. I mean, stuff like that. Wow. Yeah, well, you know, I yeah. spent my whole life on a radio show trying to get famous, and all, mm -hmm. I didn't, all I knew, all I would have to do in my lifetime was learn how to ride a bike. You know? <laughs> but anyway, this woman is there, and she, of course has gone through her training exercises over and over and over again and she just had to meet her oh well, that's okay and she searched her out and she met her and she was thrilled she didn't realize that she went to the shiva with a celebrity okay right. you know right. but but no. she knew. <laughs> what <laughs> me <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, rarely out here, Alex, when I talk to somebody, I, say, I tell them I do the show and I mention your name, they know who you are. I mean, you are known out here. I mean, it's... Well, yeah, I know. I'm known in, Bay, in the Bay Area, really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and probably. But I said, Alex, I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they know who you are when I mention your name. And that's that's a good thing. Yeah. But anyway, she had to search out the Peloton woman. I did. Uh, you know, I... and, and, and uh, although those, uh, she might be out of work soon because I think Peloton's thinking of stopping that training. They are not doing well. Because <laughs> they're not doing well. They overbought they, bikes. They did overbought because they did so well during the pandemic. They just assumed yeah. it's going to continue like that. Yeah. yeah if, they, if they had built, if they had ordered their parts month to month, yeah, they would probably be in pretty good shape right now. But yeah. they ordered thinking, oh, this is going to go on forever. Right. And we have yeah. to meet our demand, you know. They all stopped. <laughs> and they opened a couple of brick and mortar stores. There's one right on Madison Avenue. Yeah. But I mean, uh, uh, during, uh, during uh, COVID, they did very well. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know, and she was doing like, you know, eight hours on the bike a day and things like that. <laughs> She's, she's in Ohio now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, you haven't done it in a while. So, you know, you, I told her I'm going to start this as soon as I get the shots. There, there, were, there were three women there named Jen. Yeah. One oh. said, one was like daughter Jen, another one was Dr. Jen, and the third I'm one was Peloton Jen. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. You want to have that as your. Is your claim to fame, I guess. Well, it, it, as I say, that's people who get famous, you know. So, Alex, hmm? Alex, how did Peloton Jen look? I didn't Great. see her yesterday. Great. Oh, you didn't see her? Oh. I did. I went up to her. I was introduced to her. Okay. Yeah. And, I, only, I did Peloton bike. I only do her classes. 
Did and how did she look? Great. Okay. She's at the football at the Philadelphia Eagles. I know you I mean, said that. That seems to impress you. <laughs> it does impress me. I threw out the ball at an A's game in Oakland, okay? Oh, great. Cool. And I hit the umpire in the balls. <laughs> What happened was uh, they asked me to throw out the pitch. And in my case, they did it from, I did it from the pitcher's mound. And when you're watching a game, the pitcher's mound doesn't seem that far from the guy who's batting. No. But when you get on that pitcher's mound and look at, at, at first base, feet. it's about it's two and a half feet. miles away. <laughs> okay. So I pitched it, I threw it out. And I got it to I got it to for, to, the, to the home plate, and and hit the umpire in the ball. <laughs> the, uh, Char and Charlie's never forgiven you. <laughs> Charlie's never forgiven me. Exactly. Well, now we have a story for your funeral. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> How did you bypass the catcher and get the umpire in the ball? Yeah. yeah. Maybe it was a catcher I hit in the balls. Probably yeah, it was the a catcher. catcher. It was a catcher. catcher yeah. yeah. I don't know the difference. I don't know any of that. I've got a sports Emmy. <laughs> uh, you know. Um, yeah. But how how much fun was it watching Tiger? You know, I found out about Gal. Why Tiger did you was... change topics fast? Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about. He was only twenty three strokes off the lead. Yeah. But look where he was a year and a half ago. Yeah, he won. Yeah, drunk and racking his car up on the side of a road. Yeah. Well, he's I think everybody, I think he did it because he wanted to show people that he's back in the game. He yeah. was in a lot of pain by Sunday. Yeah, but it, that, he could, it. that he could do it and he wanted to do it, I think, for himself. And I think everybody kind of cheered him on. And at the end, nobody's holding it against him. Oh. You know? I have a question. Anyone that wins the Open can automatically come and play the next time? Yeah. I believe you get a lifetime exemption. Yeah. yeah. In other words, you can you can just say, I want to play, and you get to play. Yeah. As, as a Masters champion, I believe you can play the rest of your life. Yeah. Hmm. Well, he's you one have to make the cut. <laughs> well, then he gets to play like for five lifetimes, right? Yeah. Well, he already announced I'm going to play the British Open, the U.S. Open. Oh, is he? I think he. I think he wants to get back in the game. Here's part of the problem. I don't know that I've heard this. If you, for instance, lose a leg, let's say, I've heard you cannot play the game like you used to because there's something about balance or something. Oh, like yeah. that. Well, muscles, muscles. Yeah. Sure. yeah, right. That plays into it. And here he's got one leg. Not he didn't lose the leg. He almost did. But uh, you could see when he was bending down, looking at a ball or looking where the hole was, he couldn't bend down all the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And by Sunday, there was a slight limp. Mm -hmm. Right. Or as they used, look, to, say, I uh, as they used to say on the goon man. shows in England, a uh, pronounced <laughs> limp, pronounced limp. Anyway. <laughs> yes, uh, 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 Shecky. No, I'm just saying I have nothing against Tiger Woods, but he's a creepy human being. Yeah. No. I see Marjorie loves loves Tiger. You know, I don't know. I never heard anything. He's made some mistakes in the in the past, but who doesn't when they're in their young twenties and thirties? Well, I wait mean, a minute. When did he beat up the wife with the golf yeah. club? <laughs> <laughs> I thought yeah. she, beat, I thought she went after him. Beat him up. Yeah, that's what I thought. And was his caddy what there? It was her. It was the caddy there for him to say, give me the mashy. No, it was just the car, <laughs> the back of the car. It was her, Shecky, that not him. beat up his car with the golf club, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's six in the morning and I'm on drugs and I'm going to drive 95 miles an hour down, down the 101. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> you know something? I got to tell you something. If you were anybody else, it wouldn't even be noticed, you know, if it were anybody else, but it's Tiger. So if Tiger, you know, spits on the on the sidewalk and gets busted for it, you're going to hear about it. Yeah, but Alex, when he plays, he it's quadrupled the, the, the draw that he gets. 
both on television and in person. Friends of ours from Florida went up for the for the the Masters. Just, just to mm. want the fact that he's back on there. Mm. I mean, it's incredible. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, it was it was nice to see him playing. You know. Yeah. It was nice to see the crowds cheering him. I mean, he was. Oh my God! Yeah. You know, I mean, he was. Yeah, they also cheered Will Smith two weeks ago, three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> true, that is true. Yeah, that was not. The oh Oscar. yeah, yes, they punched the guy. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that standing was, ovation. That standing was not the Oscars' greatest moment. Oh, and everybody stood up to applaud him. I mean, nobody should have applauded him. I think I, you know, I, I here we here we are. How many weeks are we away from that? About four now. Probably three. Oh, three a couple, about three. Just a couple. No, I think it was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. It was. Yeah, two weeks ago. It was. It was but it's not going to end. I mean, it's every joke now. From every... But I mean, it, people are still discussing it. Well, that's it. Yeah. And it's such yeah. a minor incident. I mean, if you think about it, it was not minor. He slapped. My God, it was... He, oh, him. He, didn't, he didn't slug him with a closed fist or anything. No, but that was a hard slug. Have yeah. you ever seen Have you ever seen anything like that on television during a you know, major Never. event? I would hope I would see more. No, instead we <laughs> see it on the Super Bowl where guys are grabbing their crotch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they do that in basketball too. Baseball no. too, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get too political on, on the show, but you know I've been really upset by the Ukraine or Ukraine. Yeah. Um, you know, because it just, it's upsetting. It's horrible. You know, you see it, even Shecky, who I know is circumspect about most things, you probably watch that coverage on television and are upset by it, aren't you? I'm upset by it, but I don't watch it. You, okay. Okay. But, you know, you just. And also, as I've told you, you know, my visit to the Ukraine, I thought it was a wonderful place to visit. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to go there anytime soon, though, however. I don't believe I'll be allowed to. Because even <laughs> if the war stops tomorrow, that country is now a fixer-upper. You know? yeah. uh, but uh, but I, I watched it, and then the other day on the news, they go, and guess who showed up in in uh, in uh, Kiev? Uh, Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson. Oh, and also no. the head of the EU. Okay. And a couple of weeks ago, I made, um, I don't know if I made the, uh, the uh, question this here, but I did on my other show. I said, you know, if Biden really wants to help the Democrats win in the fall and to have his, uh, his approval ratings zoom up, all he had to do was tippy toe across the border when he was in Absolutely. Poland and yep. go to Kiev and yep. see Walensky. But yeah. he didn't. I mean, he was so close. He could have yeah. spit over the border. And he didn't yeah. do it. And I'm saying, but Boris Johnson, this goon, <laughs> and it'd be the guy who did it? The guy who combs his hair with a fan? Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I'm going, you know, this is not, uh, you know, the, the, our president should have done that. Yeah, I agree. You know, and, and people went, oh, well, you know, I mean, it's going to it's dangerous for him to go there. And yes, it was a bit more dangerous because they were they were surrounding Kiev. But, you know, I don't think the Russians will shoot down Air Force One. OK, yes, but I'm sure his advisors or whatever told him you can't do it if he said I'm doing it. Yeah. Well, if he, he said, I'm, if he said I'm going to do it, then he he could goddamn well go and do it. I would imagine. He's just done it quietly. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. No Air Force One. Well, so. I mean, yeah. Boris Yeltsin. Yeah. Nobody. I think nobody knew Boris Yeltsin was there until after he left. Yeah. Right. You know, uh, but he was walking down the streets with 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 uh, Walensky. They could have heavily, they... heavily guarded. Yeah, Len. No, no, they, they could have sent Air Force One looking like it was going back home and snuck him in the back door, you know, and, and nobody would have paid any attention to it. Well, yeah, the he could have gotten in a car when he was in Poland and driven across the border. By the time he was, by the time they figured out, he'd be halfway home for real. I mean, and, and can you imagine what would happen to, happen to his approval ratings? I mean, he could be a 23 by now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's an old man. 
Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, so am I, Shecky. So you're going you're going over to the Ukraine? Yeah. If I could, I would actually. You do you do the shuffle walk, Alex, like he does? I mean that that looks so <laughs> bad. You know, that old man shuffle walk looks Do I terrible. do the shuffle walk yet, Marjorie? Yes, yes, you do the <laughs> Okay. I do All the right. shuffle walk? Really? Yeah. It's Jackie, do I do the shuffle walk? I've never noticed it. See? But <laughs> maybe you do. I don't know. No, I don't. That guy well, do the shuffle you do walk. it when your sneakers go, you know, and you don't pick up your foot. No, that, that's not a shuffle walk. That's, that's that, a shuffle. No. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's not oh. shuffle walking. That's shuffle. When you don't pick up your foot, you're just shuffling along. No, Sorry, but Alex. Every now and then, the bottom of my sneakers get caught on the pavement. And then they make that little sound. I mean, when you walk around, your shoes sound like you're walking on farts. I got a new orthotics for my sneakers. And from the moment I got them, they make noise with every footstep. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. But uh, no, uh, yeah. So anyway, I just, I, I just think that it, it would have helped the uh, Democrats a great deal if he did that. I uh, yes. So would have been nice. Yeah, it would be nice. I don't think it would make a difference though. I think with the, I think the inflation and you know that's just it for people. You know. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, I guess, you know. Do you uh, really think a conservative Republican could care less if the guy had shown up in the Ukraine? Yeah. They'd figure out some way to use it against him. They'd figure out a way to use it against him. Exactly. You were talking about the um, um, inflation and things like that. Yesterday, we went over to New Jersey. Where to Tenafly, was it, or something like that? Tenafly. Tenafly. New Jersey, which is a little bit way over across the bridge and so on. And we paid a cab driver who came from New Jersey uh, to pick us up, pick us up with, with the toll, toll and everything, $57. Oh. So while we were there, I said to plus Marjorie, tip. Uh, plus tip, yeah. I said to Marjorie, I got to look up what, what, what it would cost us on Lyft, you know, like imagine the amount of money it would cost on Lyft. And it was thirty-seven dollars. Depending on the time of day with Lyft and the yeah. weather. Yeah. Well, all I'm saying is. But you would have paid for the toll with Lyft. That wasn't yeah. included in the thirty-seven dollars. Right. Right. And there was also, but what I noticed it said, and I've never seen it before, fifty-five cent charge for fuel surcharge. Yes, they've added they it to all their bills. That now. And it doesn't matter if you go one mile or 100 miles, it's 55 cents. Yeah, because I, I, I would imagine that that's spread out of, over all their drivers, you know. Yes. So yes, if you only go a mile, then then you couldn't go. You couldn't go a mile for 55 cents of gas right now. Anyway, I, I don't understand. That wait seems like a minute, an arbitrarily low number to be charging everybody. Yeah, that, I, I'm happy to do it. Yeah, you know, I know these guys are suffering. I'm sure, uh, uh, you know, unless they've got a Tesla, in which case, right. you know, they're doing okay. Uh, but, you know, I just, I just, uh, um, uh, I noticed that on the on the thing, and I'd never seen it. So I will now, anytime I use Lyft, get a fifty-five cent surcharge. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's good. We don't have as many people today as we usually have, uh, but oh yes, Brian is on. Uh, time for news? Huh? <laughs> that sounds like time for news. <laughs> oh, uh, um, Brian is on vacation this week. Oh, nice. He and his family are on a cruise, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, and and uh, I saw this thing about cruise ships. Shecky, defend them now. But it was supposedly the biggest cruise ship in the world. Yep. Yeah, you mentioned that to me the other day. Yeah. The wonder the, of I, the, the island something, something. One, wonder of the seas. What no, happened? Is that it? I don't know. But anyway. Well, that's a royal that would be a Royal Caribbean, then I think. Yeah. It, it is. Yeah. I looked at this documentary on how they supply food to this place and how it works. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm saying to myself, when they finally show people on deck. 
I'm going, I, w- I don't want to be in that crowd. I mean, it was like 5,000 people. Yep. It's like and a city. It's like and a it's city. not like yeah. 5,000 people. And when you go outside New York City and you see 5,000 people, they're all spread out over New York City. Yeah. The, the yeah. ships are pretty big. They do a pretty decent yeah. job of, of keeping people doing different things. So while you're eating dinner, somebody's in the show. And while you're in the show, mm-hmm. somebody's over here. And so they keep, you, they keep you busy reasonably. During the day, you know, trying to get a lounge chair is ridiculous, but... Well, I always try to find a place nobody else knows about, like on the top right. deck in the back somewhere. Yeah. yeah like yeah. I don't want to sit by the pool, let's say. No, no you do not. <laughs> I would want to oh. go to some place nobody knows about, my apartment. <laughs> you know, I mean, I just I I can't I I think I would hate being on a ship with that many people. Now I understand you know, Shecky takes these cruises which are Well, I told you the next one I have is 150 passengers. Yeah. Now that's a good number. That's a great number. Yeah. I would do a cruise with that that number. Really? Yeah. Not five thousand. Yeah. And then when you I went was on to, a cruise with four thousand. And you yeah. went to the Galapagos. You know, I mean you you take and that cruises. was about 150, 200, if I remember correctly. And then you went yeah. to There's Antarctica. Oh no, no. Galapagos is ninety. You can't have more than ninety passengers on a ship in the Galapagos. Wow! wow. Save the ecology. How many ships can go in? Yeah, I right. found, yeah. I mean, because if they open it up to all tourism, everybody would go to the Galapagos. You know? oh, yeah. I mean, they would, uh, uh, they'd be dead. The turtles would all be dead. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's what they're afraid of. They don't that's want right. the. That's right. Know, they, they want it to remain Darwin's paradise. You know. Yeah, and same with Antarctica. If you're on that ship of 5,000 passengers, you get to wave to Antarctica as you sail past it. Right. You've got to be on a smaller ship, again, yeah. with a certain number of passengers are allowed into Antarctica on that ship. Now, for anybody who's ever wanted to go to Antarctica, this guy has gone to Antarctica. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Right. Right. And as I, you've heard, Penguin smell and walrus smell. Yeah, well, you were saying you were saying there's nothing worse than penguin shit, right? Wow, everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. So they really stink. So what we don't get when we see those wonderful documentaries of cute little penguins is it's not in smell of vision. Well, you right. can't get the odors of what's around you. That they're basically so taking little... dumps every twenty minutes. They're big too. I mean, those are three, four foot birds, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They look tiny. They do look tiny, but they're huge. <laughs> wow, wow. Well, but no, I... those are ships that have the countries that have load number of people who can come off a ship. Right. So it's not five thousand people getting off in Barbados, let's say, to you know yeah, pick a yeah. European country. You know. Well, I was on the other side of a cruise. What I mean by that, I was at a port where the cruises come in. And that was in Belize. Mm-hmm. And so we're staying at the hotel. We go downtown. It's empty. Downtown is empty. Okay. Yeah. And then they have this place, these, these places where they have like, uh, it's like open air uh, store. Market. Yeah. Things like that. Right. Markets and so on. But they're closed. As soon as the crew, the cruise comes in, these places open up and they do business for like five hours in this house. And then at five o'clock in the afternoon, shut yeah. down again. As my yeah. father used to say, it, it shut down tighter than the flies, cow's ass at fly time. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, it just, it just, it was like, it was a whole different thing. If these, and I can't imagine how these people survived during COVID when the, yeah. there were no crew right. well what about the people who worked on the cruise ships for the last two years right. during covid yeah. yeah well you know and they're if they're from asia or wherever whatever country they're from and yeah, yeah. i think their pretty, income would get sent home to their families and they didn't yeah. have jobs i think it was pretty good it's pretty good income on those ships am i not mistaken Are they well, well it's fixed tips yeah. It's t- yeah, like the, the 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 dining room waiters make fifty dollars a month, and then they work on tips. Mm-hmm. And since it's all money outside of the three mile limit, if you will, they're getting paid outside of the United States or you know whatever. Then they they get all of it. It's all cash, so there's no tax uh, there's no tax implications. 
That's why I always tip them really good. Me too. Me too. They, yeah. They work hard. They're up at You know, if I'm at a bar when I get on the ship and, you know, here's 50 bucks, take yeah. care of me for the next seven days, That's 10 exactly days, whatever the day. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I don't like the fixed gratuity thing. I like, I like to give it to them. So yeah. hand it to them. Yeah. To make sure they're actually getting it. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I sometimes worried if they don't actually get all of the tip that you, when you leave right. it. Out. Yeah. I don't like pooled tips because then asshole waiters get the same amount as the nice ones. Yeah. Well, that's what I always hated about restaurants. And when I tip the waiter. You know, there are yeah. a lot of other people involved in serving me because once the waiter takes in most restaurants now, once the waiter takes your order, that's yeah. the last you see of the waiter. But that's what Tom Caliccio did. He, he he said no tips. He added an extra charge and everybody in the kitchen gets mm. a piece of it. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, you, years ago when I was doing talk, <laughs> it is years ago now. <laughs> uh, when I was doing, especially in the early days in New York and, and other towns, do you know what the most, the, the topic you could bring up that would get the most response and the most heated discussion would be should, tips. Should we be tipping? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know. In Europe, they don't tip, right? Uh, right. It's added. It's added to your bill, yeah. but it's, it's built into the bill. If I remember. Yeah. In yeah. Most they add 15 percent. Uh, okay. Uh, whatever service fee or they call it something service else. charge which means you don't have to pay a tip but i always leave a little extra as well not much a couple of dollars something like that mm. because uh i i figure you know this is my way of saying hey you did a good job i appreciate it you know and and i had a father that made me feel very guilty if i didn't tip mm. uh, because he always believed that you know you tip whoever's serving you I worked in restaurants as a, in college, and you know these poor girls would you know come home with nothing sometimes, you know, and, and I felt bad because they're only making half minimum wage back then. Yeah, it's still that way. So they really were working for their tips. So now, as an adult, I see that and I tip well because I know it's what they that's what they bring home. You know, they're not getting a lot of money from the salary from the restaurant. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, my, my you know you know what has changed a little bit. Oh, here here comes our old friend. Um, uh, oh, Star Charlie, <laughs> what's her name? Star Just go ahead and change oh, that. Mandy, what's, what's her name? name? Anyway, my, my father my father told me that my my grandfather oh, what's her name? my grandfather was a waiter in Europe, mm. and in the early days in Europe, the waiters one of the things they owned was their own serving. Uh, plates, you know, like the the, the, the the flatware and the silverware and so on. Really? Yeah. Oh. And and so what you were also paying them for was the use of their utensils. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't happen anymore. But they they were very sometimes very proud. I have this great these great plates I use, you know. And I oh. so yeah. Um, but that was the way waiters worked. And, and one of the reasons for the service charge was exactly that, you know, these guys were supplying you with the plate you're eating on. So, uh, Interesting. so uh, hello to Mandy. How are you, Mandy? Hi, I'm good. How are y'all? Good, good. Busy I today. I almost huh? got today and I was like, wait. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, anyway, uh, let me see here. Anything else happening that... Uh, well, did you see today's bullshit holiday? National Sibling Day. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> Yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I made a on all Facebook, my... it says pictures of here's me and my sister. Here's me and my brother. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Did, did, did but it's wish, called National. Your, not even um... called Sibling. National Sibling Day. I never had any siblings. So where's my day? <laughs> only, only child day. There yeah. you go. I'm sure there is one somewhere. There and and one. I know it. I know what my mother would have said. Well, every day with you, right? Single child day or only child day. You know. But, now yeah. I actually made a post of my um with me and my like sister, my, my brother, and, my, and then all my step siblings. Mm -hmm. But I posted it because of the photo quality was horrendous. And the fact 
in the seventies. I just had to laugh at the stuff we were wearing. Oh, okay, okay. Alex, you're going to be very happy to hear this. What? April twelfth tomorrow is Only Child Day. Ah! No, you're kidding me. I am not kidding you. <laughs> really? Oh, well. well, Marjorie, you planning on taking me out to dinner for Only Child there Day? You go. Uh, you didn't miss it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anybody else here an only child? Wow. See? Oh, yes, you. Uh, but, and uh, Wednesday's probably hot dog day. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, haven't we run out of days to celebrate? I mean, how many year, days yeah, are there in a year for crying out loud? Yeah. Well, you know, the, again, not to be political, the mayor has made June 19th or whatever the hell that day is. Juneteenth. It's now an official city holiday. Oh, brother. <laughs> the thing is, what Juneteenth didn't, didn't, didn't even, wasn't even brought up till a few years ago, or maybe. What is well, remember when Kwanzaa became a holiday years ago, and now it, and nobody even remembers it. Right. Do you agree, Charlie? Do you remember what day Kwanzaa is? No. <laughs> okay. Some week after, some day, couple of days after Christmas, I Doesn't guess. I feel bad. I, I, they keep moving Passover, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, the New Year, Rosh Hashanah on me. Yeah. Every year it's a different day. And well, I mean, that's because yeah. the Jewish calendar is different than the American. Uh, well, yeah. I should just live by a Jewish calendar then. You know, I should go out and get a Jewish calendar. Plus, I often said to people, you know, they say, oh, you're Jewish. This was when I was a kid. <laughs> and I went, yeah, but it's great being a Jew. And he said, why? I said, because I you live. You have to go to school. The, no, because I live in the future. I live in the future. <laughs> what, what's the current uh, Jewish year? Do you know? 57, 30 something. 50, yeah. Okay. So see, we live in the future. Yeah, over 3,000 years. Ju Juneteenth is a federal holiday now. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It is what a, is Juneteenth? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold, hold on, is this the emancipation of slaves. Uh, um, so yeah, I mean, why not? I mean, that seems like a decent cause for yeah, all. That's fine, but yeah. I think we should probably be celebrating it for several years before we actually make it a holiday. This was sprung on us as a holiday just a few years ago. That has been celebrated on yeah. June nineteenth since eighteen sixty five in many parts of the United States. <laughs> really? Yeah. Did you, did, you, did you realize that? No. I, I mean, you know, so I'm certainly in New York, you know, we probably didn't know about it until a couple of years ago, but maybe in the South and other places they did. You know, I don't know. Wow. I never heard about it until I moved to Texas. Right. Hmm. You Texas. never heard about what? I never heard about Juneteenth until I moved to Texas. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it, it, it's, it's pretty new. All things. Well, it, was pro it was proclaimed in Texas first, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's National Wheelchair Day in Texas. That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> and national, you can't get an abortion in Texas State. Yeah, right. right. You can self-abort though; it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> they finally figured that out. Yeah. 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 Coat hangers work really good. Well, I think oh, we, I, I quite frankly think we should have retroactive abortion day and start with Trump. You know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's it's uh, you know. Boy, it looks, I'm looking at Scott Boddicker. It's such a nice day in Texas today, right? How, how's, what's the temperature? It's a little hot. It's 88. Hey, oh, wow. it's only 77 here. Yeah, Just it's sunny. Cool. Right now, the temperature in New York City is 60 degrees. Doesn't that sound professional? It was 85, it was 95 here last week. It's 55 today. Nice. <laughs> and, uh, and downtown, it's uh, 60 degrees here. Probably downtown, it's 59, right, Steve? About the same. It's going to be in the 70s, I think, you know, Wednesday and Thursday. Really? Yeah. yeah. I think they said a 78 on Thursday I'm or probably something. probably forced to have to go outside and take a walk. Yeah, you have to walk. Nothing wrong with that. You know. Go out for a shuffle. Oh, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm going to get from upstairs. You guys stop it, or I'm going to go out and buy aviator glasses. <laughs> <laughs> you look like weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> then you'll all be sorry. You know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I was feeling like crap this weekend, but today I feel pretty good all the way around. No, yeah. Don't have too many complaints, Marjorie, but I will afterwards. I got an hourly update whether I want it or not. 
<laughs> it's true. Sometimes it's every 15 minutes. Wow. Well, well, you always are saying my back hurts, my knee hurts, my knee hurts, and I believe you because, of course, you have all these things, but you don't believe I have any problems. Mine are real, Alex. This weekend, I had stomach problems that wouldn't stop. See, here's the thing I'm wondering. Have I had, have we, maybe over the weekend, did I get COVID? Oh, I was feeling I so I like crap. Hour, I think I had a 24 hour virus. Just maybe, a you, little. maybe you ate some bad, maybe you ate some bad herring at the Shiva. So. No, 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 no. It, they, it, it, was, it wasn't like you went to the bathroom there. The, one, the, only, the only thing was, the only thing that the, the food was basically uh, uh, what? Corned beef, roast Chicken. beef. Chicken. Chicken. Was there chicken there? Yeah, I guess there was chicken in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The wraps that they had. Wraps and, and, and egg salad. But, you know, you want to go to a shiva for the herring, as you said, or you want to go for the, uh, uh, you know. The, White fish salad and sturgeon. Yeah. 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 You want to go for the, what, what do they call it? Stuff, the chopped chicken, uh, the, Chop, what is it? The, the liver, chop liver, chop liver, chop liver. Chop liver. Ah, um, the yeah, the schmaltz, which is chicken grease, chicken <laughs> fat, chicken fat. I went once to a place called uh, Sammy's Romanian Steak, oh, hey. and there, there you go, and they give you hot of <laughs> really greasy, gut wrenching. Uh, but delicious uh, Jew, Jew food. Okay. But there's a little pot of chicken fat, if I remember, or schmaltz yeah. on the table. Yeah, they, they, would, they would bring the, the chicken livers and then they would take this schmaltz and they would mix it up and give it to you as the chicken liver. And it was delicious. So delicious that I ate a ton of it. The next, I swear to you, the next day I had a fever. I was so sick from having eaten all this greasy Jew food. You know, it was amazing. It was just amazing. So, well, they they closed within the last year. They yeah, did. they closed in January. Yeah, wow. I, I, I I thought that was, there was something wrong with that because Sammy's Romanian Steakhouse was it called? Yeah, it was called. It wasn't a steakhouse, but it was called that. Yeah, yeah. Sammy's Romanian Steakhouse was really a, a landmark. Yeah, down on yeah. Christie Street, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, mean, Alex, I, was, I was gonna say, yeah, um, Aliotos is closing on the war. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Angela Aliotto, who I used to have my years. Yeah, Angela Aliotto, who is a there's a family called the Aliotos. And they yeah. owned Aliotos and Fisherman's Wharf. It's been there for what? 90, 97 years. Mm. 97 <laughs> years. And uh, I went there one night for dinner, and then I had Angela Aliotto, who has become a friend of mine, who was uh, the uh, in the family and the sister of the former mayor of the city. And she was also a, 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 what a councilwoman or supervisor or whatever. Yep. And uh, I had her on my show, and I said, I just got to tell you, I just went to Aliotto's for dinner. She says, how'd you like it? I said, it's the worst food I've ever had. It's a tourist trap. But... And she gave me a ration of crap you couldn't believe. And I said, you're just doing that because you're family. Yeah. You know, she didn't hate me for it or anything like that. But, I mean, here was Aliotos, which had been there forever. And everybody go, oh, I went to Fisherman's Wharf. Did you go to Aliotos? And I said, sure. no, I went to number nine. I like number nine. <laughs> and, um, um I, you know, I, I went to Aliotos one time because I, and number nine was so packed that I couldn't mm. get in there. So I walked over right next door to Aliotos and I went and I had dinner and I'd been for years been told, oh, you didn't go to Aliotos. And I, I went after it was over. I said, I'm never coming back to Aliotos again. So, well, it was like Mama Leone's back here in New York back in the day. Sure. Good popular you're supposed her. to go for italian food and let's be honest it was not very good yeah. there was some kind of red sauce they put on everything right yeah 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 
uh, you know, but M Mama Leone's was all over the country, I think, at one point. No, I don't think they ever franchised it. Really? Where do, why do I know the name then so well? From New York. Well, I don't New York know was in the Broadway district. Yeah. Like, I saw a thing on YouTube about Peter Luger's, which is a steakhouse here in New York. In Brooklyn. And, and, and Brooklyn, yeah. Brooklyn and Great Neck. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. So I said to Marjorie, maybe we should go to Peter Luger's sometime. Shecky, you've been there, right? Because every I've year, been, Dave, I've been you know, to the Great Neck one. I've never been to the Brooklyn one. I've been it's, to the Brooklyn one several times. It's how, good. How is it? They Does it live up to its knife. reputation as being a great you steak? Do not need a steak knife. That's how tender it is. It's good. It's not it's, cheap. It's very. It's very good. It's not cheap. I will admit. What's not cheap, Steve? Uh, I don't know. A steak's going to be over fifty bucks. Okay. Oh, it's more than that there, I would think yeah. now. Wow. Yeah. And it's a nice thick steak, too, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't been in ages. Well, they usually, I think it comes sliced, doesn't it? Depends what you get, I think, yeah. 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 And you, didn't Dave give out Peter Luger steaks to all the people who worked? No, there? no, that was um, uh, that, that butcher up on in the 80s on the east side. Um, I can't think of the name right this second. Though Dave's manager or his agent, whatever, his family owns Peter Luger's. Really? Wow. And his mother would every morning, like at five in the morning, go to the meat district to buy the steaks. Oh, really? Well, son of a bitch. I mean, it's a, it, they're, they're very famous as a steakhouse. Yeah. There's one of the steakhouse. What's the one well, that's... Well, Gallagher's is very good. Gallagher's, Midtown. Gallagher. I've been to on Gallagher's. On 52nd Street. I, I've been to Gallagher's, and I remember it as being a pretty damn good steak. Mm. And they also have great, great um, potato chips, because they make them fresh there. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, you, you know, what we get now, Marjorie, she's got a, she's, a, we have four bags waiting to be opened right now. From Sue Leonard's potato chips. They're the best, the best. They're really is good. Monaco, is Delmonico still there downtown? Yeah, there's a couple of Delmonicos. There's one down in Wall Street. There's right. one on the east side of Midtown, I think. There are a couple. The one I always wanted to go to, but I hear it's not good, is the old homestead in the meatpacking district. It has the big cow on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> your first. Is it still there? It's still there. But What's the I best know. steakhouse in Texas, Scott? Uh, I don't know because I can't afford good steak in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Got to go to the place in Amarillo with the 72 ounces. Yeah, right? the ground round. Yeah, the sizzler. <laughs> the sizzler. <Yeah. laughs> They used to have a thing, and it might run a little over me telling this story, but we you used to have a thing called Tad's Steakhouse. Yeah, that's they unbelievable. Had like Tad's. They had it in San Francisco. And when they first opened it up, my father took me to Tad's Steakhouse for two reasons. Number one, it was right next door to the Musicians Union. And secondly, it was the cheapest steak you could buy. It was it's like $2.49 for, for a steak, yeah. even when they I remember closed. when it was like 79 cents. Yeah. Wow. And you got a steak. And you get a baked potato. Yep. You there was one on potato. Union Square. There was one right here. I used to eat at it. It was great. For $4, you get a huge steak lunch or yeah. dinner. Wow. And, and uh, Tad's Steakhouse was around for years. And the price kept going up. I mean, you can't, what, the latest price is not. I don't think it ever hit 10 bucks. No, it was in the $4 range. Yeah, it was always in the $4, like $4 they range. Finally, yeah. They finally closed it down, didn't they? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Tad Steak. The last one was on 42nd Street. And when Street, I first I got a Tad Steak, it was pretty damn good. I remember it was here and it was good. But as the years went on, I would keep going back to Tad Steakhouse in one form or another, whether it was here in New York or in uh, San Francisco. And it got worse and worse well, and worse. And they kept trying to keep the price down to what it was. And they had to buy like shoe leather by the time I stopped <laughs> going there, you know. Uh, any good steakhouses down in Georgia, Mandy? Uh, yeah. um, there's there's one actually in a town near me called Bones, mm -hmm. Bare Bones, that 
people swear that's the best one in Georgia, like, or at least in Atlanta. Yeah. I mean, it's very good. And I mean, a steak, $65, $70, you know, but it's like yeah. butter. It just yeah. melts in your mouth. So good. Why don't mm. you just get butter then? <laughs> Everybody says it melts like butter, and I'm going, well, it's, so does butter, actually. Uh, yeah, uh, it but, melts in your mouth. What's interesting about this discussion, and then I guess I got to bring us to a close because we're already running over. And I know you people have a life. I don't. I could stay here for now. <laughs> well, I do have a life. She's right there. Uh, uh, and we wake up every morning and look. I, I put a mirror to her mouth to see. That she, uh, um, but uh, everybody here, when I said, do you have a great steakhouse? The only guy who couldn't tell me was Scott, and he's in a state that has more beef than you can throw a beef jerky stick at. You know? But everybody had a steakhouse, you know? I mean, it's like everybody knows where they're good steaks. Yeah. And even Marjorie, who doesn't eat meat, really, steaks at least, she doesn't like steaks. Um, well, I used to love them, and I still do, but I don't eat them anymore. But she doesn't eat them anymore. But she, she, she if I told, asked her, name a great steakhouse, she'd come up with five different names of places she knows that has great steaks. Yeah. That always seemed to be a hallmark is some place that served great steaks. So mm -hmm. oh, it didn't ask Len LaFrisco, good steaks anywhere in your area? You know, we're, we're, I, I like Texas Roadhouse, believe it or not. They're a chain, but they're, they're actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, the, the city has a couple of, the House of Prime Rib is the best ever. I mean, I, it, it has been around since I was born, practically. That's my favorite place in the world. But is it still good? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, it used to be 20 and $30. I think we're up in the 55, 60 range now. Yeah, but, but I remember it's on Market Street, yeah. a mission. Van S. It's on uh, Van S. Yeah. Van S. And it's right on the corner. And if you finish your steak, they come over and they offer you a second slice, a small slice, wow. a, a second slice. So I mean, it's it's good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. And they have other things beside prime rib too. I'm sure. Oh, well, they they have a fish if you really have to, but that's it. <laughs> if you really have to. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, uh, I noticed that Mandy has got work up the gazoo here. Yeah, <laughs> it's tax time. I don't know if she ha if that makes her have to work any harder. Well, the, the, the deadline's in a couple of days, Alex. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, uh, Sh uh, Shecky, good talking to you again once again. I'll talk to you in a few minutes. Uh, Charlie Wallace, always a pleasure to have you here. Uh, and Len LaFrisco, great having you here. Marjorie Miller. Uh, is it Miller or Myler? I don't know. <laughs> Miller. 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 Okay. Uh, is that your, your is that your husband's name? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah, but Bennett is not your last name. We all know that. True. I, I barely think she knows how to spell Schwarzman. It's not by law, it's just custom. Correct. This custom. Okay. Yeah. Fine. It causes a lot of confusion in our lives. <laughs> well, like when we were going through that suit, both our names were on the suit. Sure. And, and uh, you know, if we got a settlement or anything, the check, who would get the check? You know? So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anything you want, dear. Uh, yeah. Steve Bender, always a pleasure talking with you. And, uh, uh, he's nearby, and yet we have a hard time finding a yeah. moment when you aren't busy. I know. We, we, we're doing it in May, for sure. For sure. Okay. Okay. That's just around the corner. Be yeah, I know. Nice weather. Yeah, you know, yeah. We, we will do it in May. Take you a, on a tour of our neighborhood. I to do Give it. Me, uh, To oh. add to the flavor, we'll make sure you get mugged. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we both want to do it. Susan's oh, been creating good work, and it's her birthday this week. Yeah. And, you know, there. And and before you come over, by the way, Marjorie, we have to when they come over, we should shut down the crack lab, right? Because <laughs> if you watch the movie New Jack City, that's where Den's what's his name? Uh I'm trying to think of the actor. Snipes. This Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes, yeah. Wesley Snipes points to on the building and says, This is where we're gonna build the crack lab. 
in a point car point. window. You're kidding. That's amazing. Yeah. Our kitchen. Is Our the kitchen. Method. I've been thinking that's of amazing. actually taking a, a, a photograph, a kind of a still of that shot of that movie, and then blowing it up and making a nice big That's poster freaking awesome. <laughs> Um, and uh, let me see here. Who I said by Steve Bender. I said goodbye to Scott Boddicker down there in Texas. So it looks like a wonderful day. Uh, and of course, to what's her name, Mandy, who I is. Still have you know, no, but I, I got to tell you, you, you're working hard, aren't you? Yeah. I, I just uh, <laughs> need to go get. Yeah. <laughs> That really loud. Sorry. Wait, is it tax time for the, uh, this it's company? The, yeah, these tax payments. I got to go to the post office. And... <laughs> <laughs> All of them. And final, yeah. finally, I got to say goodbye to uh, Edward Berger, who signs us off by saying, "That's all, folks." <laughs> Oh, uh, boys. Anyway, everybody give a big wave uh, goodbye. I'll give a big wave goodbye, and uh, we'll see you all next week here. Bye. Uh, Thank you, Alex. Have a great week. Have a good one. Bye-bye.